Welcome to our video on the 10 warning signs of lupus. In this video, we will be revealing how to identify possible symptoms of lupus through a comprehensive understanding of its warning signs. Lupus is an autoimmune disease that affects millions worldwide, causing chronic inflammation and damage to various parts of the body, such as skin, joints, and organs. People who suffer from lupus often experience debilitating fatigue, joint pain, rashes, hair loss, and even organ failure in severe cases. It can feel like your own body is betraying you, attacking itself instead of protecting you from harm. This illness not only takes a physical toll, but can also have a significant impact on mental health due to the unpredictable nature of flare-ups and the uncertainty surrounding one's future health. The problem with lupus occurs when the immune system mistakenly identifies healthy cells as foreign invaders and launches an attack against them. This results in inflammation throughout the body, which leads to tissue damage over time. The exact cause for why this happens remains unknown. However, it is believed that genetic predisposition, combined with environmental factors such as exposure to sunlight or certain medications, may trigger lupus in susceptible individuals. Now, here's something really interesting about lupus that you might not know. There are four different types. Systemic lupus, erythematosus, SLE, is the most common form affecting multiple systems within the body, including joints, skin, kidneys, and more. Cutaneous lupus, erythematosus, CLE, primarily impacts just your skin, while drug-induced lupus, DIL, arises after taking certain prescription medications. Once these drugs are discontinued, though DIL usually resolves itself within six months' time, lastly neonatal lupus, NLE, although rare occurs when antibodies from a mother with SLE or another autoimmune disorder pass on to her newborn baby, causing temporary complications during infancy. By knowing these 10 warning signs discussed in this video, you'll be better equipped to recognize the early symptoms of lupus and seek medical advice as soon as possible. Early diagnosis and treatment can help manage this complex disease, improving your quality of life and reducing the risk of severe complications. But before we get into it, please take a moment to give this video a thumbs up, ring that bell for future notifications, and subscribe to our channel. That way, you'll be the first to know when our latest video comes up. All right, folks, it's time to focus our attention on the 10 crucial warning signs of lupus ensuring you know precisely what to keep an eye on. So, let's get started and arm ourselves with the knowledge to detect this condition early on. Coming in at number 10, we have a dry mouth and dry eyes. Now, a dry mouth doesn't always just signal that you're thirsty or dehydrated. When combined with dry eyes, it could potentially be an early warning sign of lupus. Many people affected by lupus actually describe their dry eyes as having a gritty sensation. Now, while there are numerous reasons for dry mouth or eyes that aren't necessarily lupus-related, these symptoms could indicate the onset of Sjogren's syndrome. This is another autoimmune disorder that targets the glands responsible for producing saliva and tears. And interestingly enough, it doesn't stop there. Some women have also reported experiencing vaginal dryness and dry skin. So how does Sjogren's syndrome connect to lupus? Well, many individuals with lupus develop what's known as secondary Sjogren's syndrome. This condition typically affects 10 to 18% of those living with lupus, making it something you should definitely be aware of. As we progress through these warning signs, you'll notice that not every lupus symptom is experienced by every person with the disease. Each individual will have their own unique set of symptoms, varying in severity. However, this list highlights the most common early signs of lupus, arming you with the top warning signs to keep an eye on. At number 9 on our list, we're focusing on thyroid issues. The thyroid is a crucial gland in your body, responsible for producing hormones that play a role in metabolism, growth, and development. It's vital to keep this gland in optimal condition for maintaining good health overall. Now, when the thyroid isn't functioning properly, you might notice a range of symptoms such as weight gain or weight loss, mood swings, fatigue, and dry or brittle hair and skin. You may also encounter issues related to your brain, kidneys, heart, or liver. While these problems can stem from dietary deficiencies, they can also be an early sign of lupus. There are two types of thyroid issues to watch out for. Hypothyroidism, which is when your thyroid is underactive, and hyperthyroidism when your thyroid is overactive. Usually, your doctor will diagnose any thyroid problems through blood tests. If you suspect you might have a thyroid issue, like unexplained weight gain or constant exhaustion, it's a wise idea to consult your doctor. It's important to remember that lupus can manifest differently in each person, so the symptoms may vary in severity. Whether it's a sign of lupus or not, addressing any thyroid concerns is definitely something you'll want to prioritize for your overall well-being. So, as we continue to delve into the warning signs of lupus, keep in mind that the symptoms we discuss are the most common early signs. 
This list will help you stay informed about the top possible warning signs to watch out for, which is crucial for taking control of your health. Moving on to number eight, we're talking about swollen and painful joints. When you think of these symptoms, arthritis might come to mind. However, it's essential to know that swollen, stiff, or painful joints can also be a sign of lupus. In both arthritis and lupus, joint inflammation is the common cause of these symptoms. For women with lupus, they often find that these symptoms are worse in the morning. These symptoms may start out very mild and gradually become more severe, and like all lupus symptoms, they can also come and go. In addition to swollen and painful joints, you might also experience muscle aches. If this is something you're frequently dealing with, it's crucial to consult your doctor to determine the cause. Remember to share any other symptoms you've been noticing, no matter how unrelated they might seem. This information helps your doctor get a clearer picture of your overall health. Now, let's uncover lupus warning sign number seven. At number seven, we have lung and breathing issues, which may indicate the presence of lupus. Inflammation of the respiratory tract, a common early sign of lupus, can manifest itself in various ways. When the diaphragm becomes inflamed, it can lead to chest pain and shortness of breath. This inflammation can also extend to the lungs themselves, affecting the alveoli where oxygen exchange takes place, and the blood vessels within the lungs. This may result in reduced lung capacity and difficulty breathing, especially during physical exertion. Over time, chronic inflammation caused by lupus can lead to a decrease in lung size. This condition, often referred to as shrinking lung syndrome, can have a significant impact on lung function and overall quality of life. If you suspect you may be experiencing lung and breathing issues related to lupus, it's crucial to consult with your healthcare professional. They may order a series of tests, such as a CT scan, pulmonary function tests, or blood tests, to determine the cause of your symptoms and assess the extent of any lung damage. In addition to diagnosing the issue, your doctor will likely work with you to develop a treatment plan that may include medications to control inflammation, improve lung function, and address any other symptoms or complications that arise from lupus. Coming in at number six, we have digestive problems, which can be quite distressing. In individuals with lupus, inflammation often occurs throughout the gastrointestinal tract, leading to a variety of unpleasant symptoms. These can include acid reflux, heartburn, nausea, gas, vomiting, stomach pain, dark bowel movements, bloating, reduced appetite, and more. While mild forms of these symptoms might improve with simple dietary adjustments, if you're experiencing frequent or increasingly severe digestive discomfort, it's essential to consult your doctor. They'll help determine if lupus is the cause and explore other potential underlying conditions. If lupus is found to be the culprit, your healthcare provider will work with you to develop a personalized treatment plan to manage these symptoms effectively. This may involve medications, dietary changes, and lifestyle adjustments to reduce inflammation and improve your overall gut health. So, don't suffer in silence. Reach out to your doctor to get the help you need to tackle these digestive issues. And now, let's move on to our next warning sign. At number five, we're looking at nephritis, or kidney inflammation. One of the hallmarks of lupus is the inflammation it causes throughout the body, and for approximately half of those affected, this inflammation extends to the kidneys. When the kidneys are inflamed, they struggle to filter out toxins and waste, causing these harmful substances to accumulate in the body, leading to further health complications. Signs of nephritis to watch out for include swelling in the lower legs and feet, blood in the urine, increased frequency of urination, pain in the side of your torso, high blood pressure. It's crucial not to ignore any of these signs. If kidney issues go undetected, there's a risk of developing end-stage renal disease, where the kidneys are functioning at 10% capacity or lower. Treatment for this condition can be invasive and may require a kidney transplant. The sooner kidney problems are identified, the better. Diagnostic tests usually involve blood work and urinalysis to check for blood and protein in the urine. So, if you're experiencing any of these symptoms, make sure to consult your doctor for a thorough evaluation. Now, let's move on to our next warning sign of lupus. Number four on our list is thinning hair. Inflammation from lupus can also affect the skin on your scalp, leading to hair loss. In fact, thinning hair is often one of the first signs of lupus. This can range from gradual hair loss to more extreme cases where hair comes out in clumps. Not only can the scalp be affected, but individuals may also experience thinning of their eyelashes, eyebrows, and other body hair. With lupus, there are two types of hair loss, scarring and non-scarring. Non-scarring hair loss results from inflammation and can be reversible when lupus is successfully treated. Scarring hair loss, on the other hand, occurs when lupus lesions leave scars on the scalp that damage hair follicles, potentially resulting in permanent hair loss. It's important to note that any unexplained hair loss should be taken seriously, 
especially when combined with other signs on this list. If you're experiencing hair loss, it's crucial to consult your doctor to determine if lupus could be the cause. Now let's dive into our next warning sign. Number three on our list is fever. A very early sign of lupus can be the development of a fever without any apparent reason. Typically, this fever ranges between 98.5 and 101 degrees Fahrenheit, or 36.9 and 38.3 degrees Celsius. Most people might not see a doctor when this occurs, since on its own, it's not usually a cause for alarm. However, individuals with lupus may experience a fever on and off for an extended period. Now, you might be wondering why these unexplained fevers could be associated with lupus. It all comes down to your body's immune response. When lupus is present, the immune system is constantly fighting inflammation throughout the body. This ongoing battle can cause your body temperature to rise, resulting in a fever. Additionally, the fever may also be caused by infections that develop as a result of lupus compromising the immune system. If you're experiencing unexplained fevers, it should serve as a warning sign to get checked out. Make a note of the frequency and duration of these fevers and consult your doctor to determine the underlying cause. Keep in mind that early diagnosis and treatment of lupus can significantly improve your prognosis and overall quality of life. So, if you find yourself dealing with unexplained fevers, don't just brush it off as a minor inconvenience. It could be an early warning sign of something more serious, like lupus. Remember, it's always better to be proactive when it comes to your health. Now let's move on to the next warning sign. Coming in at number two, we have fatigue. It's worth noting that a staggering 90% of individuals with lupus develop varying degrees of fatigue. You might find that you've started taking afternoon naps, even if your sleeping patterns haven't changed. Or perhaps you're just suddenly exhausted all the time, and you can't quite put your finger on why. It's true that abnormal fatigue can result from a multitude of causes. However, as we've been emphasizing throughout this video, if you're experiencing this symptom, particularly when it's paired with any of the other signs we've discussed, it's a smart idea to schedule a visit with your doctor. The key here is to pay close attention to your body and its signals. If you notice an unusual drop in energy levels that doesn't seem to improve over time, it could be indicative of an underlying health issue, such as lupus. Remember folks, it's always better to err on the side of caution and take your health seriously. If you feel unusually fatigued, don't hesitate to seek medical advice. Early intervention can make a world of difference in managing lupus or any other health condition. And now, let's move on to our final warning sign on this list. And finally, at number one, we have skin lesions or a skin rash. About 50% of individuals with lupus will develop a distinct butterfly-shaped facial rash. This rash typically covers both cheeks and the bridge of the nose. It might appear after a recent flare-up involving other symptoms or even after exposure to sunlight, as those with lupus tend to be more sensitive to the sun. It's important to note that, like other signs and symptoms of lupus, this rash may come and go. In addition to this characteristic lupus rash, you might also experience skin lesions on various parts of your body. These lesions commonly appear on sun-exposed skin, such as the face, neck, ears, legs, and arms. They're usually thick, scaly, raised patches with a pink and white hue. In rarer cases, lupus can even cause hives. As skin issues are some of the more visible signs of lupus, it's essential to book an appointment with your doctor immediately if you notice any of these skin problems occurring. Keep a close eye on your skin's condition and any changes that may signal a deeper issue. And there you have it, folks. These are the 10 vital warning signs of lupus. Before we wrap up, it's important to remember that while these are the most common signs, they aren't the only signs of lupus. Other, less common symptoms may include mouth ulcers, swollen lymph nodes, muscle pain, osteoporosis, depression, and dizziness. So, stay vigilant, listen to your body, and don't hesitate to seek medical advice if you notice any of these symptoms or anything else that concerns you. Early detection and intervention can make a significant difference in managing this autoimmune disease. Now, I have a question for all of you, and I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments section below. Have you or someone you know experienced any of these lupus warning signs, or do you have any advice to share with others who may be going through a similar situation? Share your experiences and insights with our community, because your knowledge could make a significant difference for someone else. So, don't be shy. Go ahead and drop a comment right now. And if you've enjoyed what you've seen and learned in this video, do me a favor and hit that like button. It really helps us out. And while you're at it, go ahead and click subscribe to stay up to date with all our latest content. Oh, and don't forget to tap that notification bell so you'll never miss out on our new releases. Plus, if you're feeling extra generous, you can even send us a super thanks to show your support. We truly appreciate it, and it keeps us motivated to keep bringing you more quality content. Thanks for watching, and we wish you a healthy and happy day.